Okay, we've now managed to be able to retrieve data from our database. But what happens if we want to try and add some data? Let's have a quick look at our library over here. Well, we've conveniently got a form here. So I had a book title, a book author, and then a button to add the book. Let's just look at the HTML for that quickly. So we navigate a bit further up here and we can see here, hopefully, a nice little bit of HTML, which is a form to add a book. There it is. There's the form. It's an ID add book form. That's the one. Input, book title, that's the placeholder there. And then input, name of the author, with a placeholder book author. Okay, and then we've got this button to add a book. Okay, so everything's set up for us to be able to do this. So what we really now need is a little bit of JavaScript to do that. Well, as has been the case for most of these tutorials, we're just going to head into the script JS here and get that form. Okay, so I'm going to use um, the get element by ID. Again, you can use the query selector, uh, but we'll be trying to be consistent here by element ID. I don't need the hashtag, and that will get me my add book form element from this page. So form is now this element here. Okay, so we're all ready to start using that. Now, what we want to do here is to put in this little bit of code. So I'm going to make a space down here. Oops, there we go. Just having a bit of a rethink. There we go. So add a book. Okay, so I've got a little bit of space for that. I'm going to move that up there. Okay, now what I want to do is only want to run this and fire it when I click on add book. Okay, so what I want to do is look for and add an event listener. And this is quite important in these sort of databases. So I'm adding an event listener, which when there's a submit on my form, okay, so on my form, the only place is likely to be a submit is when you click on this button here. Okay, and then when that happens, okay, so it's not a, it's not, it's not defined as a function, this is going to run all the time. I've added an event listener to the form, and when I click on submit, then this is going to happen. So what is it that we want to happen here? Right, well, what we actually want to do is this bit of code here. Now, the first thing we want to do is the prevent the default because that would do, that would uh, d generally just reload the page, which is not what we want at the moment. So we prevent any default actions taking place, and then we go to db collection books and dot add. There we are. Simple method add a title form title value and an author form author value to our collection books, and it's pretty much as easy as that. Then we can reset form title value and form author value to nothing. Okay, so we've cleared the decks. We've cleared the values in here. So what we're going to do is remember this is the form. So the title dot value, this one here, we called it title. This is author. That was called author. And when I press on this button, this event listener will say, "Oh, hang on a minute, somebody's hit this button." Okay, so let's just see. If we can okay so let's just test this out then we're going to head into book and type in perhaps little women uh louisa may alcott i think i think that's the right spelling as well and then we click on add book so what we're going to do now is just head over to our database notice it's not refreshed there's nothing yet about real-time data okay but we're hoping that that has now added Yep, and sure enough, we get here, Jane Eyre's there, Charles Dickens, and then look, author and title of women. So we've managed to use our database, put in there, and then if we run it again, bingo, we've got all three of our books back. So there we have, we've added our data by adding an event listener to a form, and as soon as the form's submitted, 
pings this function here and we can add those values. Great stuff.